Puppy mills are basically factory farms for dogs, so these dogs live their entire lives in a kennel or cage, and they are just bred over and over and over again. Nicole Galvin says her own dog is a puppy mill survivor. She was used to breed um, her entire first part of her life, the first five to seven years of her life. She bred so many times that she has bone density issues, and her legs are literally collapsing underneath her. Nicole claims pet store Animal Kingdom inside Arizona Mills Mall is not careful enough about the breeders they buy from. They've been asked several times um, to go to a humane model and, and they have no interest in doing so. A spokesperson for the shop tells us that's just not true. They list all of their breeders on their website and inspect them twice a year. They also say they have strict rules for breeders, like having climate-controlled kennels and big areas where the pets can run. But in the past, even Phoenix and Tempe City Councils have tried to ban the sale of animals from commercial breeders. Unfortunately, the local ordinances passed by those cities were overturned when the state legislature passed a law to protect the pet store, um, saying that cities can no longer regulate pet sales. That's SB 1248. The governor signed it two years ago, saying shutting down the good guys will do nothing to stop the bad actors. Nicole says now she'd like to see stricter USDA standards and more people adopting. Of course we want people to adopt. There's lots of homeless dogs out there in the world um, that they could find a perfect companion for their family um, from any number of rescues.